You can intimidate me all you want, Stooley. Hello, viewers. Brad Proprietor of Barstool Entertainment doing another GTA 5 video. Like I said, I'm going to try and focus on random encounters and stranger missions that are given to each character. In this case, it's bounty hunting, which is given to Trevor by Maud, and there are five bounties Trevor has to get. So let's get on with this video involving bounty hunting with Maud. There you are, handsome. No, Maud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, is one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. Now, you have to leave the area in order for the bail bond bounty hunting missions to start, and Maud will send you a text file containing information in regards to each person you have to hunt and find and where their last known location is. And it's usually a photo of something that you can kind of figure out. But I'll let you know the locations of each guy when I do the missions. And the first guy is in the quarry. Again, Maud will send you an email with some photos and other information. The emails come within a few minutes of game time, and this is Ralph Ostrowski that you are looking for. And his last known location is the quarry, and that is not too far from Trevor's trailer. When you get to the quarry, don't go after the bounty. Don't go into the center. You want to get at the upper rim, and the most advantageous thing you can do is use the sniper rifle to shoot out the tires of the cars there, and the guy will go running. And it's amazing is these bounties run really fast. So, yeah, there's a different technique I can use. Now he's going toward that vehicle. Shoot the tire. He's going to get out. He's not going to go after the other vehicle. He's going to go running. Now you can chase him down. Use this technique when I have a car, and I usually just bump into the guy and knock him over, not run him over and then get them into the vehicle. Come on, please, put the gun down now! Sit your ass down in here! Background music. Now, the guy will explain to you why he's in the predicament he's in and tell you his life story all you have to do is take him to Maud. You don't want to kill these guys because you don't get paid. So you don't want to beat them up too much. You can threaten them by pointing a gun at them. But most of the time, they will just follow you and get into your vehicle. So I'm going to fast forward this to the ending. Pressed overweight middle-aged man and deliver him to a depressed how you been trevor 
Boy, am I glad to see you. Look what you brought me. Your relentless sunny disposition, it always puts a pep in my step. I aim to please. Well, witty banter completed, I'll give you my thanks. And I'll send you another file for your inspection. The next bail jumper will be Larry Tupper, and he's located in a cabin kind of in the wilderness area, uh, farm area, and, well, he's actually a associate of Johnny and knows Trevor. I won't show you the email mod sends you. What I saw you with the last guy is an example of what she sends you. This guy is located where I'm going to show you right here in this area. And all you want to do is, again, use the sniper rifle and locate this guy. I'm trying to get to a high ground. There they are. I'm going to try and get to high ground where I can shoot some guys and get the suspect to flee. Now that I've climbed to proper high ground, switch to the sniper rifle and scope out the bad guys. The guy you want is right there to the left, and this is the guy you're going to shoot. Once you shoot him, the other guys will come out after you. The suspect is going to flee. You see him backing off there. These guys are going to run for cover. Don't worry about shooting them. You just want to go after the suspect. Again, the suspect is running down the road. I'm just going to tap him a little bit with the vehicle and then take him into mod. Okay, okay, I give up. Correct decision. Come on, road trip. Get in! Background music and such, but the conversation with this guy, turns out he recognizes Trevor, and, well, Trevor informs him that Johnny is not alive anymore. So, let's get him back to Maud. Up to my old pal Trevor. Hello, stranger. Who's this? Hello, Maud. I found this man wandering the streets, and I thought that maybe you uh, might be able to find him a home. I think I can do that. Anyway, let's not waste all day with inconsequential chit chat. You'll be receiving a file from me shortly. Now, the next guy is found at the top of Mount Chiliad, and yeah, not only is he a bail jumper, but he's a thrill seeker, and one of the most annoying of the guys, the four guys you have to round up for Maud. I usually end up shooting him before he jumps. Uh, I can waive the 10,000 bucks. You don't have to, and you want to get the 10,000. He really makes you work for it. You have to get to the top of Mount Chiliad, and the guy jumps, and you go after him. Usually, I try and shoot him before he jumps, so I don't have to go through this entire chase. Like I said, he makes you work for the 10000 The only reason I'm doing this is to show you what you end up going through chasing after this guy. To be honest with you, the 10000 isn't worth it. 
just compressed several minutes of skydiving. Now you got to give foot chase to this guy. And yeah, that takes some time. Like I said, I usually just shoot him when I see him. And if I do have to skydive behind him, if I land near him and he tries to run, yeah, I just shoot him. Once you get near the guy, you hit the B button to tackle him. And after that, he'll come with you. Or you can hit him again and kill him. Well, I'm sure Maude will understand. The reason I killed him, it's going to be a long-ass walk down to the road, and he is a pain to deal with. And I got to steal a car and get him in the car and drive him to Mod. Well, the next guy is a homeless guy in a homeless encampment. Let's get to him. There's a bounty on your head, and it's mine! Stay back! You're not taking me in! This guy leads Trevor on a chase. You're better off putting the gun away to chase him. It makes it easier. Yeah, I contemplate shooting this guy as well, but... I like him. He's kind of funny. If you hear what he talks about in the car with Trevor, yeah, I kind of like this dude. So I usually let him live, and he's a pain. And again, yeah, this is taking a little longer than I thought. You love to push people around, don't you? It's going to be a long walk back to the car, and the guy complains. But again, I like him. I can threaten him with a gun a little bit, but I'm going to fast forward through the walk back to the car because the guy is kind of cantankerous and funny. You can intimidate me all you want, Stooley. After that nice long walk, he gets in the car and he starts telling Trevor why he was a bail jumper. And actually talks about he made a lifestyle choice in order to be homeless. It wasn't that he enjoys being homeless in a sense it's his choice to live homeless and live as a bum but i digress let's get him back to maud gee well if it isn't my dear old buddy trevor and he's brought me this reprobate hello maud you know I kind of look upon you as the friend I never had, the son I never wanted, and the shrink I could never afford. You do? Kind of. The pursuit of criminal men for profit is back-breaking, soul-crushing work. Oh, I can only imagine. I'm retiring, Trevor. I want a peaceful life, away from all this insanity and degradation. I want a picket fence. And a husband. And a dog named Skip. I want the dream, Trevor. And I won't let anyone stand in my way. Good for you, Maud. I wish you well on that quest. I'll find it, Trevor. I'll find it all. I'm a passionate woman. Goodbye, my boy. Goodbye, Maud. Be well. And there you have it, Bail Bonds with Maud. I find Trevor's tattoo, Michael, Rip, Friends Forever, 
on his arm. Kind of interesting and ironic. But I digress. If you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave some comments. I always will do my best to respond to comments. If you like this type of video, I've been posting a lot of GTA 5 videos lately. And you don't want to miss out, so hit that subscribe button and bell icon. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I thank you for watching. I thank you for subscribing. And most of all, thanks for stopping by.